Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money. I wanted to actually give you guys a XDC news update because there's been a few things that have been happening over on that side in that ecosystem. You guys can see right now, XDC is actually in a bit of a dip. You want to take advantage. If you're kind of new to this channel, the XDC network is really unique out of the ISO cryptos because it actually has a smart contract capability, but it's actually going to be working with trade finance and everything like that. So this is a layer one that has so much room to grow, but at the same time, a $550 million market cap means this L1 has a lot of room to grow. If you're really bullish for utility cryptos or really the future of the new financial system, you definitely want to subscribe to our channel. First thing I want to show you guys is this right here, Atul Kakade. He is the co-founder over at um, of XDC, really. And he had put this tweet out earlier today saying TVL by number is uh, TVL by number four is directly in XDC. Uh, the glory is not in never failing, but rising every time you fall. XDC is not just for institutions. It's open for all. A chain reaction of such projects built exclusively on XDC is coming. This community has been standing since 2017 and will continue to thrive in times of most criticism. So what he was really referring to is this right here, the top 10 projects by TVL growth this past this past week. And you can see that over the past week, Fathom has grown over like 1800%. Uh, with now their TVL around $7.5 million. So Fathom is what we're going to be talking about that, of course, uh, in this update. So you can understand exactly really the reason why you want to stick around for the end of this video is so you can really understand exactly all the mechanisms that are working on XDC. Again, what Atul Kakade said, XDC, this XDC network isn't just for institutions. That's one big thing, one big selling point of why we really do love it. But the point is, this is open source technology. OK, so keeping that in mind, this this chain has been seen as very serious. Now, guys, you've you've seen meme coins, you know, what community coins look like. Well, now there is a meme coin over on XDC. And of course, we are involved. So you guys can see it right here. Uh, the folks over at Cat uh, Cat X were saying is Cat X is getting more attention. Famous XDC YouTubers like um, uh, Blue Chip Coin, Crypto Ready, and Capital Live Capital are making videos every day. This is just the beginning. At one million dollar market cap, we have something special coming. Wait and see. So, with that being said, folks, uh, you know, little bird that I heard, there's definitely going to be a few airdrops that are going to be happening. You know, um, wanted to put that out there. If anybody is a Cat X holder, you definitely want to just hold it, folks. Seriously, like the thing about these community coins they're not going anywhere you know and they bring a quite a bit of uh liquidity now of course when there's actually a solid project on a solid chain of course it's something that you want to get involved with most people really get involved with these uh community coins just to get more xdc right you're just buying this coin on the rise you flip it back into xdc you know most folks aren't really you know holding coins for that long blah 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 but if you want to get involved seriously if this is the first time you've heard me talk about this i just made a video on uh how you could swap for this on on your decent wallet um but if you are you can connect actually your decent wallet to this this x swap interface um if you can see this is really similar to uniswap so you can see this is the xdc uh dex here uh x swap protocol but again like i said guys you can use your decent wallet the most easy and safe biometric hardware cold storage wallet for your crypto and you can just connect it right here you could get your cat x and not have to send it to your wallet it's already on your wallet so definitely want to introduce this to you if you have any new booties to crypto you want to actually keep all of your crypto safe okay seriously take that step use the link in our description save yourself some money and grab yourself a cold storage wallet for your crypto if you're keeping it on the exchanges on your phone and whatnot and the best part about this is there's actually they're going to be giving us they're giving our community the deepest discount okay seriously these this is the price they were giving you guys during christmas during black friday Friday, and they're actually doing this having event because Bitcoin is, of course, uh, entering into its having uh, having phase. We're most likely going to be seeing more and more um, uh, prominent attention coming towards, of course, security for your crypto. So keeping that in mind, if you have your XDC somewhere else or you're keeping it on your phone or some kind of XDC pay, whatever, use the link in our description. Save yourself some money. If you're in the US, UK, EU or Japan, listen to me. I'll give you free shipping. 
Okay, you can uh, keep all of your XDC on your decent wallet. Definitely something you want to get in tune with. Now, this part right here, okay, I want you guys to understand this concept truly. You see, everyone's talking about real world asset tokenization on, you know, on chain that we're actually making real world assets, for example, you know, corn, commodities, Apple shares, whatever, and we're putting those on chain. But the thing about XDC, what most people really know, is that it's really facilitated for trade finance. So let's learn how these real world assets are really working with trade finance. Um, this basically digitization, tokenization, allows trade assets to the tune of trillions of dollars to be tokenized, digitized, and then accessible to a wide range of liquidity coming from private credit marketers in a very organized and trusted manner. So just from that point right there, what you really have to understand is there's going to be a demand for private credit marketers, okay? You can see that right there. Obviously, there's going to be a demand for real world asset platforms and that's what XDC is. So the most important thing about this is the use of the 24 seven on-chain settlement capabilities of the XDC network because they use XDC, that coin, that's the native asset of the network and the Fathom dollar. You see, so that's the thing. You guys have probably heard um, how Ripple is going to be starting their own stable coin and whatnot. You're pretty much seeing it already being done right here on the XTC network, how they have the XTC coin as that native asset, and then they're utilizing a Fathom dollar, unit account, soft peg to the value of a dollar. As these assets are tokenized and traded across borders, the counterparties need to mitigate their risk, their risk and access liquidity. So the XTC network has a fully diluted market cap of close to 2 billion, which I mean, that was in a different time, but as the transactions on the XTC trade network and trade finex increase, the market cap will further increase access to capital. So with that being said, guys, the big part of XDC is obviously allowing small and medium enterprises to close what's called the trade finance gap. So what I would suggest you do, head on over to Twitter if you want to learn a little bit more about them. But really what they're doing is allowing more liquidity to come to the XDC network. It's a liquidity protocol. Um, again, real world asset liquidity, stable coin, lending, private credit, all of this, where you have users depositing XDC, they can stake their XDC, mint FXD, this stable coin, and that can be used to gain exposure to, of course, yield opportunities through the vault and everything like that. So folks, what they've been doing over on Solana, what they're doing on Ethereum, all those different things, the XDC network was already doing it. But the thing is, is there is not that much attention over on this network. So letting you know, that's the reason why you're watching this video is to understand the strength of exactly what it is the XTC network does. OK, so these are the tokens here. That's the stable coin. And then the Fathom Fathom uh, governance token that's used for, of course, governance, development and onboarding and whatnot. So their ecosystem, we're going to be looking at these two right here. OK, yield tech. And of course, uh, trade uh, trade finex, uh, the or a trade tech right here. So um, also, I want you guys to know this as well. Uh, when it comes down to Fathom, they say they are over collateralized. This stable coin, there's 2.7 million, 2.7 million of those stable coins have been issued with a 5.7 million uh, dollar TVL uh, in regards to this Fathom protocol. Okay, so keep that in mind. Again, if you guys want. The link in the description, you can see here that there's a DEX already built within this to where people can already swap anything on XDC. And as well, there's these vaults here that people can, of course, get involved and uh, utilize to get these yields. So uh, here's the next platform. You might have heard me talk about Trade Finex. They've recently upgraded their website and they're featuring a real world asset yield pool, empowering the trade finance ecosystem through smart contract standards. What is Trade Finex? So if you've been watching our channel, you most likely see me go through this flow, but I got to go through, go for, go. I got to introduce this for the new person that's watching and I'll try to keep this brief. So you have the originators, <clears throat> banks and fintechs and whatnot actually start all of this. If they, if they want to uh, put their asset digitize it and whatnot and put it onto the platform the originators do that they have to contact uh, what they're going to make is these things called special purpose vehicles you know underwriters insurance and whatnot and they're going to be contacting regulated digital custodians so keep that in mind as well folks if you're looking into investments if you're looking into the process because that's how we do what you're seeing right now is the future it might not be manifested just yet but if you're really looking at this stuff with a doubtful heart then i'm telling you right now you're going to be lost in the sauce you're always going to be too late for the party all of 
of that. You have to be able to walk on water. And that's exactly what we're telling you guys here. Regulated digital custodians. Propine was the first one in, in, in Singapore to support XDC. So they would contact those custodians, tokenize those securities, and they'd be uploaded onto TradeFinex. It's tokenized through XDC. TradeFinex is ISO 20022 compliant. So guys, you can see how we're moving forward into the future, how ISO cryptos are really the, it's the, the truth, you know? So out of that platform, these are the pools I want to show you all. TradeFinex is an open trade five protocol marketplace for real world asset pools. You have Yield Tech right here, 5 million USTY involved, Insuro pool, 100,000 FXD. So that's my point is they're already, they're building. They are moving and grooving when it comes down to, um, uh, the yield and whatnot. So here's also as well um, what I want to share with you. This is the big news. Uh, here's the big news because I mean this this thing is chock full. So here's the big news. Obviously, last year, Trade Tech launched a bond token with Securitize. Okay, so like I said, Trade Tech, um, uh, Trade Trade Tech. I'm, I'm going to show you guys Trade Tech. Okay, but Trade Tech did this through the yield tech platform okay so keep that in mind i mean you you've heard how blackrock is working with securitize to tokenize um i think you know they just did something over on ethereum you know bitcoin etfs everything is going crazy right now but the thing is trade tech selected xdc as the platform of choice to securely and efficiently distribute and record the ownership of fully regulated digitized financial products. This is the first time the XCC network will be used by Securitize to tokenize digital asset securities. Folks, this is what I'm trying to tell you. They've been doing this since last year. But the thing is, is anything that's happening with, in regards to uh, uh, institutions and whatnot on the serious chains, the DGENs don't want anything to do with it. We want the banks. OK, we want we want that Larry Fink money. We want BlackRock really stepping into this thing in a real way. So yield tech, this is this is exactly it. That Treasury token bond. You see it right here. Who's managing it? BlackRock, baby. BlackRock is managing this. And you can see the XDC contract is right there. OK, so that's, again, very good for XDC. Uh, also, for the people that are really watching, again, Fathom Protocol, DeFi ecosystem built on XDC, um, bringing more liquidity. I want to show people if you did have some FXD, it is possible to stake them. Visit Trade Finex, connect your wallet. From there, you need to approve FXD. OK, you have to approve, a, you know, a specific amount if you are going to stake. And then from there, you stake it. You would approve it. You then proceed to stake. That means you've initiated the process where you lock and deposit the approved amount of tokens into the platform. That's what staking is. By staking your tokens, you become eligible for yield. You become eligible for rewards. OK, so keep that in mind. That's why a lot of these financial institutions are dumping millions and millions of dollars into all those ethereum you know uh restaking and liquid staking protocols and stuff folks passive income is where it's at you know uh so there you could check your statement make sure that you've successfully uh, staked all your tokens and whatnot you'll have access to a summary so if you guys are over on twitter give trade tech a follow you can see that they're saying here we're providing the ai powered collaborative network for trade finance which is cute uh, but really you can see it right here this is a website saying we make private debt instruments investable basically again a private credit lender uh again working with these third-party funders to really again provide liquidity where it needs to go so you can see here they're doing this all on trade tech Obviously, this yield tech is the big news, the big business uh, that we really want to pay attention to. But uh, what trade tech does, they actually offer a marketplace for small and medium enterprises to come together and um, have uh, access to, again, those investment potential for all of that. But this is the part I really do love. These are the instruments that they support. Direct lending, trade finance, consumer finance, real estate debt. All of it is they're going to be supporting it. And what they're obviously going to be doing is tokenizing, folks, tokenizing $12 billion uh, worth of notes issued, 100 plus investors in the marketplace. So beautiful, beautiful. Last but not least, I want to show you this. Andre Cashman was giving us some love uh, when we really made that connection around this time when they announced that when they made this announcement uh, about Securitize really being used. OK, unparalleled in investment solution. All right. 
And we said it, you know, the XDC network really getting involved with uh, the TFD initiative and Andre Cashman. And again, if you if you hold XDC and you don't know who this guy is, you really need to do your research. You, like stop. Stop just being a little, you know, outside looking in. Andre Cashman is the head of the ITFA. That means the International Trade and Forfeiting Association. XDC is the only blockchain company that is a part of this TFD initiative, the ITFA, which all of that is just about digitizing trade. So he said it, you're spot on uh, Live Capital combining trade tech, which we just went over. That's the hub of the of the TFD initiative. OK, so this trade tech, this this is this is the hub for digitizing uh, 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 digitizing um, trade finance. You see what I'm saying? The tap notes are issued by Trade Asset Securitization uh, Company, TASC, a bankruptcy remote private limited liability company in Luxembourg. So, yeah, guys, uh, there's that. So, yeah, so Trade Tech, hub of the TFD initiative and XDC continue to bring existing and new asset classes to the XDC network. You see, so what he's talking about here is it's it's this is just the beginning. Treasury bonds are just the beginning, folks. We're going to be seeing more and more and more real world assets, y'all. Like, I don't like the sky is truly the limit, seriously. But I appreciate you for making it to this part of the video, you future millionaire. I'll tell you something right now. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and buy yourself some more XDC. I'm not a financial advisor, but I have a very good feeling that this network is going to be huge in the future. With that being said, folks, I'll holler at you later. Leave a comment. Follow us over on Twitter. Peace.